Oh, oh, hot. <laughs> so I had a dream the other day that I'm gonna share with you. It's like kind of screwed up. <laughs> so in my dream, I got all these books in my left arm here and I'm walking down the street, it's a sunny day, and in my other arm, I got this wooden chair. I don't know where the hell I was going, but I'm just walking along. All of a sudden, Jesus appears. <laughs> Kid you not. Jesus appears and he starts growing and growing and growing. And he got like, I don't know, he got like 20 feet tall. I <laughs> said, whoa, Jesus. <laughs> But then, he turned into a dinosaur, a T-Rex, you know, T-Rex, and he starts chasing me, so I start whipping my books at him, and that doesn't matter because he just, he just clamps down on me and bites me in half, The next thing I know, I'm spiraling down to hell. <laughs> I said, Jesus, help me, but I'm spiraling down to hell. And I land in this um, river, this tranquil, peaceful, warm water river. And the scenery is just absolutely beautiful. It's something maybe out of Dali, you know, Salvador Dali. Anyway, I'm in the water and I swim to the bank of the shore. And I'm just sitting there looking at all the scenery. And I lit up a smoke. And then I woke up. <laughs> What the hell does that mean? You know, if anybody out there knows the meaning of this thing, you know, leave me a comment. You know, I'd like to know. It was like, at first it was like all scared, but laying on that bank having a smoke, yeah, it was really relaxed. I so thought, if this is hell, I wonder what heaven's like. Whoa! <laughs> so I thought, since I had this weird, wacky dream, let's make a dream sickle. <laughs> it's gonna taste good. Let's make a dream sickle. We got Galliano, vanilla Galliano, two ounces. Yeah. Next, you want to add our orange liqueur. Now, you could use any orange liqueur you've got kicking around the house. You know, you got some top shelf stuff, use, use some Cointreau. That's a great little product, isn't it? Grand Marnier would work really well, too. You know, getting a little pricey, though. Then we've got our triple sec. Now, if you make it with triple sec, that's the way uh, Pool Bar Jim made it uh, when he originally made this cocktail. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to use Orangella. Uh, it's 30% alcohol volume, and look at this color. I think it's going to be awesome in our drink. One ounce. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to use some triple sec anyway. <laughs> Why not? Double orange. <laughs> Just a half ounce, triple. Yeah, these are optional things, you know. You just kind of wing it, play with it, okay? We got two ounces of orange juice. Perfect. Half an ounce of half and half cream. And an ounce of coconut cream. Yeah, oh yeah. That's thick stuff. All we want is about six to eight ounces of crushed ice, which I've got right here. Dump her in, put a lid on, and let's blend it. You want to give it about 20 seconds or so. Okay. Now all we want to do now is just pour it into this wonderful port style wine glass. Yum. That looks delicious, doesn't it? Okay. And we'll just garnish with a lovely piece of orange. Mm hmm. Let's uh, give this a try. Ah, the dreamsicle. You know, this is perfect for a hot day. And you know, you, you almost figure it was made with ice cream the way it tastes. 
Mmm. It's really refreshing. It's nice. Make one. Dream. Dream, 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 dream. Whenever I want you, all I gotta do is dream. Mm -mm. I'm dreaming of an electric ice crusher. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. And you know, I'm gonna take this orange and just squeeze it over my face. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks for watching. Make hit the subscribe button and, and I don't know, just you know, watch more videos. Help me, help me.